So Lamar will run two courses, Mia will run three courses and in between I'll be working on the competition because this competition is organized by my club and so in between all that I'll try to find some small moments to tell you about what it takes to organize an agility competition. Spigana, Mio, Lamora, together we are Team Ginger and on this channel we are all about active life with dogs. When I went to run this course, I was really, really, really sure that this run will go great because Lamar was so motivated and so concentrated on our warm-up session. He was really taking treats and so I didn't expect anything to go wrong, but yeah, well, so lucky, you know. And uh, so Lamar decided to skip the jump. Now he's taking the wrong jump. And basically when something goes wrong on agility, everything starts to go wrong. So I were late to change after the tunnel and now Lamar is just sniffing around. And oh, speak and you silly goose. I was afraid and I decided to simply run away from the course. Lol. I got completely lost in the course and not because I forgot what I have to run, but because uh, Lamar looked like he's going to poop and so I wanted to get him outside and then I realized well maybe he didn't want to <laughs> Even though the first run went kind of badly, I had my confidence back for this one and I really love Lamar's sense to the tunnels. Oh my god, his drive to the tunnels is just amazing and this course was going so well. I really didn't expect that something would go wrong, especially at this place because that entrance to the tunnel, it's super easy spot. Like That's the one spot where I expected absolutely no problems. But well, Lamora is Lamora and when something like when he does something wrong, he goes into the zoomies and he doesn't really understand what's going. But oh my God, I got him back. And well, this is the hardest part of the course because I couldn't change properly. And so, oh well. That speed, oh my God, it's crazy. I seriously don't know how to deal with that speed combined with the lucky zoomies. Like Lamora is super fast. And when he runs, he runs amazing. But uh, then, like, if he suddenly decides to bypass tunnel or something, I said, like, he's very fast, but I can't yet trust him. I know I, it's a crazy combination. It's crazy fun, and I absolutely love it. I love to run agility with him, but I know it's crazy. Mind you, I'm not the one organizing the competition. It's uh, Solvita, my trainer, who is organizing everything. And for every competition, there are three main points. First is the date when the competition will happen and the dates we have to give to the Latvian Kinological Federation already we had to do that last year so for this year already all the competition dates are, are known Next we need a place uh, In winter it's actually really hard in Latvia and that's one of the reasons why we have so few competitions in Latvia This is basically the only dedicated agility hall that we can do in the winter and third point, of course, uh, every competition needs a judge. And for the judge, we are usually trying to find someone like, interesting. We are looking at his courses. We are looking at someone who hasn't been there for a long time or something. Uh, because this is a one-day competition, it wasn't feasible for us to like invite a judge uh, from far away. So this time we have Vitautis Globis from uh, Lithuania. Uh, everybody knows him very well, we know his style of the courses and so it was very easy but like uh, for summer we had a more difficult like task for choosing the judge we were looking through the lists and what should we invite and when we look at the judges we always look at the course designs they have done before and so we discuss them in the chat, we look at them and we decide if we like that style if that style would be interesting for others. So Lamora is now done with the competition. Now I have a meal and we'll warm up. We'll go inside and run our three courses. We'll start with jumping and today for the first course, my goal for Mio is to simply check if she can run. I want to see if she performs differently from Silesian. So basically I want to test her. And then after that is done, uh, let's see what should I do next. 
Had a long fight with Mia on the start line as usual because she never wants to sit down but at least she did the perfect start so I am very very happy about that and the beginning of the course went really really well and I'm really happy about that because this is kind of harder course I had to really run fast and I can't run as fast as I need to like Mia is flying out of the tunnel looking back, back at me and this is a typical Mio glitch when we have like a very hard view entrances Mio will do a perfect entrance and then she'll pop out on the third like bar and oh I don't know why that happens and because I was so confused about the weaves we picked up this qualification on the jump because Mio had to come straight to the tunnel not go to the jump and here Spigna is tired and I were not on time to send Mio on the back side of the jump and now she's screaming at me and oh my god but at least we are finishing okay so now I know that Mio can run and she can stay in the start line the start say wasn't really perfect but well she was staying and I could go as far as I needed I met my goal for Mio for the first course now let's try to do something more advanced on the next course on the actual competition day we need lots and lots of helpers there's lots to do my job is to sit on the secretariat i hope that's what it's called in english so my job is uh, to fill in res the result uh, from the runs in a special excel table and then there are people who are just looking at the judge that's a spe specific job and they're just writing down every mistakes and then they give me the paper slip and I write down the results in the Excel table and then I have to calculate who is the winner and uh, stuff like that but uh, also we need helpers to build the course and put uh, the numbers on the course when the judge is measuring the course and then when the dogs are actually running we also need people who are changing the jump hurdles if it's dropped and then we need the people who is calling everybody on the start we also need someone who is bringing leashes from the start to the finish you know because when you go to the start line you take off the leash of your dog you drop it on the ground you don't care about it anymore but you need it on the finish and so there's a specific person who does that and also we need a person who is responsible for prize giving and for calling everybody to get prizes and then of course Solvita is uh, like uh, doing everything they're like her orchestra oh and of course we need the uh, people to take time on the course uh, we have electronic timing so we usually rely on that but by the rules you have to have like a reserve measurement and so if the electronic system isn't working then we check as a measurements from the people so yes it takes a lot of people to actually run agility competition smoothly and every one of those helpers is actually running too in this competition and it works like that in almost every competition even in bigger competitions like in, even in Silesian uh, the helpers were mostly uh, people who are actually running too and even the main organizers Raman and Olga they were organizing everything and sitting in secretariat and talking with everybody and somehow they still managed to run with their dogs too and oh my god I actually after seeing Silesia I, I just can't complain about any amount of job I need to do here and I just can't complain about how long are the days or anything because when you watch Silesian and how amazingly it was organized you realize that nope 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 you you have it easy and obviously when you're running competition like this obviously our dogs are still our main priority and so we are still warming them up we are still walking with them afterwards and so everything is planned around it for example i'm not the only one working in the secretariat there's also lila and I'm running A0 large and A3 small and she's running A3 large so our classes don't overlap and so when I'm running she can do the stuff and when she's running I can do the stuff so yeah it's, it's a very much a team effort to make any competition happen and yet another fight on the start line and Mia decided to start without me which really sucks and we had to start again because that's my criteria for uh, Mio that she has to stay on the start line and of course typically Mio while 
On the second time, she can do a perfect start state, and I don't know why can she do that on the first time. And I was so upset about the start state that I didn't show her properly. She had to go into the tunnel, not to the dog walk. But uh, when your dog is on the dog walk, it's very dangerous to like uh, stop and uh, start doing something. So I just had her to finish the dog walk. But uh, well, at least the rest of the course is going actually really nicely. Mia is running very nicely. She's listening to what I'm saying. Very wide turn here, which I didn't really like. But well, okay, at least Mia is running. And she was trying to do a good seesaw, but like she almost dropped down. So I decided to do it again because we were already disqualified. And yet again, a straight line. Those are really hard for me. And for some reason, Mio decided not to go into the tunnel because, you know, their years, oh well. But at least she had a very, very nice contact there and a very nice finish. Well, that's typical Mio for you. Just because she did something on the first course doesn't mean that she can do that on the second course too. I don't know. I'm just confused on what should I do with Mio, like how to understand her and how to run better with her. The run itself wasn't really bad. There were plenty of really good things and I'm not upset or anything, but just very frustrating when you like don't know what to do. You can really never know what Mio will decide on the start line. Like on the previous course, I left her standing and I assumed he will, she will stay, but uh, she decided to start to run. And then this time I leave her standing and she stays. And that's the reason why I find it so hard to fight with her. But other than that, the course is going really, really nicely. I love the weaves here. The sand to the tunnel was very nice. And Mio is really listening to me at this point. A little bit of confusion, but everything is really working according to the plan. And this wasn't exactly an easy course to remember, but everything is going so nicely. And even here, oh, Mio turned to the wrong side, but she didn't do anything like really incorrect. But here comes my biggest mistake. Like I had to recall Mio from the tunnel to the next tunnel and avoid that jump. But I went in way too deeply. And you can see this is how it had to be done. And that would have been a really perfect course if I hadn't done that one stupid mistake. It is sad to make such a stupid mistake. The interesting thing about this course was that it was very hard to learn it because it was repeating itself and it was like a hard to remember at the, which loop are you but it was very very nice for running i really enjoyed this course it was very nice for dogs and there were a little bit of challenges and very interesting challenges and i could do some rear crosses and the interesting handling options really enjoyed that course. Of course, now that I'm also working on the competition, I'm not going away after I finish my runs and I'm just staying here for the, the whole of the competition. And right now I'm just warming my car for my dogs because obviously they have to stay with me. And of course, every nice competition also needs very nice prizes and very nice awards. And so for every competition, we're looking for sponsors and we are doing some award design that's uh, special for this competition. And because this was half a cup of hearts, it was immediately after the Valentine's Day, our trainer Solvita did something really, really special. She, she baked all those amazing cookies. And honestly, this is one of the really rare times when I'm quite upset about the fact that I didn't get any awards because I really wanted those cookies. And of course, even though everybody has uh, their own uh, specific tasks, we also help like whenever we can, like uh, sometimes I'll put the numbers up when the judge is measuring the course or we'll help build the course uh, who is available. But of course, there are regulations for that. For example, for the course that I'll be running, I can't go on the course and help build it. And uh, there are other things to take in account. For example, when you're putting down the numbers, you really have to check if they are visible and if they're in the logical side because sometimes you can't put down the numbers on the side that you can't really see when you're coming from the previous number and so you're just spending your time just searching for the numbers if you didn't see the course when the judge was measuring it and it's just a wasted time so obviously we want to help always the competitors 
and uh, place all the numbers in a way that uh, they can be visible and do everything in a way that helps others. As always, if you want to see more agility stories, if you want to see more Saluki agility, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if you liked the theme of this video and tell me if you want to see more like themed agility videos.